everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Chelsea if you're new and if you are new don't forget to hit the subscribe button I would love to have you a part of this family um, ignore my finger my dog bit it so I have a little bandage on it um, but today I decided to do this prom look which I did another prom video a couple weeks ago it wasn't a couple weeks ago it was a couple months ago but this is the second part in my prom series. I had a lot of people actually request this. I posted a picture of this makeup I did on Instagram. And I actually had like a lot of people ask if I could do a tutorial on it. And so I was more than happy because I've never had anyone request a video. So I was super excited. But this is the look. It is just a pretty like bronzy gold look. And then it just has a pop of sparkle. And yeah, I really like the way it looks and obviously you don't have to pair it with such intense lashes These are the lily lashes in the style Miami. They're a little bit intense, but I like intense So if you don't then you can just obviously tone it down or just not wear lashes at all. But yeah Let's just get on with the tutorial All right, I'm gonna be starting off by moisturizing my face and for that I'm taking the sample size of the Tarte drink of H2O moisturizer I just asked Sephora for a sample which, life hack, if you didn't know that, you can literally go into Sephora and get anything as a sample. Just ask. But I'm really excited to try this moisturizer. I would never buy the full size because it's, like, absurd, but I'll try it for a sample. So I'm just going to be dabbing this all over my face pretty generously because I haven't moisturized lately. Excuse me. <laughs> My neck, I just itched my, egg, my neck, so excuse that. And also, excuse my <laughs> my sideburns because I've watched it videos on Instagram where people like shave them off or like wax them off. So I was like, yeah, I want to do that because mine were like extremely long. And don't do that, kids. Don't do that. Because then when you want to grow back out, you have like these weird patches. And it's just not cute. So don't do it. I'm going to be using a lot of new products that I got. I'm going to be doing a haul, so stay tuned for the haul. Also, I want to show you guys my shirt. My sister got this for me for Christmas. It says, blending is my cardio. So true, because your girl doesn't get any cardio. Okay, now I'm going to be using foundation, which I'm nervous to use this foundation because the lady said it's super, like, you have to really exfoliate before you do it, and I didn't. So, let's just try it. It is the Fenty Beauty. Oh, okay. It's very liquidy, I guess. Um, well, I can't waste it, so I guess I'll just put it on my face. But yeah, this is the Fenty Beauty um, foundation, which everyone seems to have a hype, hype about, so I figured I would try, but I'm also not buying the full size because this is way too expensive. Alright, I want to try the, um, what is it, body butter? I keep seeing it all over Twitter. It's like a... What is that? Beauty bubble? Bubble bar? Body glow? Something. Some sort of like liquid illuminizer that she just came out with. But I want it. So I'm just taking a flat foundation brush. Mmm, it smells good. It's like vanilla-y. Just putting this all over my face. Then just taking my Real Technique sponge, blending it in. Alright, I feel like this is really hard to blend in. Okay, four hours later, after I have blended it all in, I, overall, I don't know how I feel about this foundation so far. I mean, it's supposed to be, like, what, full coverage? I mean, like, you can see this redness popping through, like, around my nose, and, like, it's, like, I don't know what that is, a bug bite or whatever the heck. It just, just kind of came in out of nowhere. But, like, I don't know. And I felt like it was really hard to blend in. Like, the lady said that it, it like, clings to dry patches, but, like, my skin's pretty moisturized. So, I don't know. But... I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and putting this around my nose and on this little bit of redness. I think 
that's good. Then taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand, I'm gonna be, I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a bee. Putting this underneath my eyes, down my nose, on my chin, and then a little bit up here. And then I'm just gonna be blending that in with my sponge. Okay, then when that is all blended out, I'm taking my Cody Airspun powder. If you've never tried this, they have it at Walmart now. Like, get it. I like to just literally set my whole face with my sponge and then buff it out after. But I feel like this really like sets everything. But I like to really make sure it's under the eyes, around my nose. Cause that's where I feel like foundation comes off is around my nose. So once I have it all packed on there, and I've made a mess, I'm just going to take a big brush, okay then to add some color back to my face I'm taking my Wet n Wild Color Con Bronzer in the shade Ticket to Brazil, and I just have this like sponge I don't know where it came actually it came in my Cody air spun powder thing but I just like to literally just pack this on my face it gives you like a nice like natural sun kiss glow and then to contour a little bit more I'm taking my Kat Von D shade and light palette just this little angled brush from Beauty Basics. And I'm just taking the first brown shade and then just putting it on my face. And then to just carve out that contour, I'm taking my Cody Air Spun Powder again and my sponge. And I'm just gonna bake that. For blush today, I'm taking my e.l.f. Blush and Contour Duo and this big fluffy, uh, this big fluffy. For the brush, I'm taking this big fluffy brush. <laughs> For the brush, I'm taking this big fluffy blush brush. I want to apply a pretty heavy blush today. I love this blush because it has like a same with this bronzer. It has like this like shimmer to it, so it makes your face like so glowy. And who doesn't love a glow? I mean, really. Like, yes. And then for my highlight today, I'm taking the Anastasia Aurora palette. And I got this at G Max. I saw it like a million times there. I was like, no, I don't need it, but <laughs> girl, you need it. So I just like to mix literally all of them and put it everywhere. I'm going for more of the gold today just because my look is more of a bronzy gold look. But I like the first the first two. Put a heavy amount on your nose. The Cupid's bow. I'm gonna like to put a little bit in the center. Now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, and for that I'm taking my, I'm going to do my brows off camera, but for that I'm taking the Anastasia Dip Brow, nope, that's not what it is, this brow is, and then I'm taking the Soap and Glory Volume Boost Brow, the brow gel. I just got this, so I'm going to try it out, and I'll be back to let you know how it goes. Okay, 16 hours later, I finished my brows. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. 
um, the brow pencil that is. Hmm. I don't like the way it looks right now. Okay, I've literally been working on my eyebrows for like half an hour and they're just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse so I'm just gonna like leave them. <laughs> literally, I just have, I have good and I have bad eyebrows days. Good and bad eyebrow days, so of course the day I want to film the videos and they look bad, but whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna get started with the eye makeup. Oh my god, these eyebrows, are you kidding me? Like literally. Like, who taught me how to do my eyebrows? Because, yikes. I don't get it. Just stop looking at them. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to start with some tape. Actually, I'm going to do one eye off camera and then I'll come back. So, start off with tape. I'm going to start off by putting this on the corner of my eye. Just like that. And then I will be back. Okay guys, so I just finished doing this eye. This is what we are going for. It's just a nice soft glam for prom, which these lashes are a little more intense than I feel like match the look, but I like, I like them. So if you want to switch them out for less intense lashes, be my guess, but I like intense, so... I'm going to leave them, um, but I'm just going to get started with this eye, and yeah, so I'm starting off with some tape, and then I'm going to be taking my MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW20, and I'm just going to be squeezing a tiny bit on my eyelid, and then I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and just patting that into my eyelid for my base, and I'm taking it up to my eyebrow. I'm just going to rub off the excess and continue to pat that in until it's dry. And then for eyeshadow, I'm taking my Morphe 35O palette. And without setting that eyeshadow, or it's like a hair. I don't know where it is, but I can feel it. Um, okay. But I'm taking my 35O palette, and without setting it, I'm just going to go in with my... Morphe M441 brush, and I'm going to go in with this light tan color, but also this, like, orangey tan. And I'm just going to be patting that, like, in my crease. And without setting your eyeshadow base, it's going to create more pigment and make it easier to blend out your shadows if you struggle with blending out your shadows, which I do. <laughs> Oh, I found the piece of hair. I stuck to my nail. And then I'm just going to lightly blend this. And then going in with my Morphe E13 brush, which I didn't even know I had this. This is weird. But <laughs> I don't remember buying this ever. But I'm going to be going in with this dark chocolate brown color and putting this in my crease. And then going back to with my other Morphe brush, the M441 brush, taking the same shades as I did the first round and just using that to blend out that darker shade. Don't worry about your lid because we're putting dark shades on our lid anyway and then carving out a crease. So, it's fine. This is why I love this look because it's so like, like it looks so more, it looks so much harder than it actually is. Like I'm literally using like four shades. Okay, then when I have it all blended out, I'm going to go back in with my MAC Select Cover Up, put a little bit on the back of my hand. 
And then just taking the same flat shader brush, I'm going to be carving up my crease. And I'm going to put it a little bit above my natural crease. Just because I want it to show more than it would if I didn't put it above my crease. And then I'm just going to like lightly tap it to kind of blend it. So you have something like that, and then I'm just going to take my finger and blend out the edges. And then over top of that, before it dries, I'm going to be taking this Gold Mika pigment. It's in the shade number three. I got it in my Ipsy bag, so honestly, I don't know the company but it's great. It's just this really nice gold pigment. But any gold eyeshadow will work. So I'm just gonna be putting that on the center. And then just lightly tapping it on the outer edges. Okay, so then go back in with my Morphe palette. I'm taking a very dark chocolate color like I did before for my crease, and I'm gonna be Putting that on the outer corner and the inner corner. And then just kind of dabbing it to blend the gold with the brown. And you just want to be cautious that you're matching it with the other eye. Because I've I've had that happen before where the eyes don't look anything alike. The tape was mainly just so I had something to go off of to do my wing. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, and then over top of the gold, I'm going to be taking the gold shades in the palette. And just applying those over top. Now I'm just going to be taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner and drawing a wing. And then I'm taking my next liquid crystal glitter eyeliner in the shade Crystal Silk. It's just a gold glitter. I'm going to be putting this on top of the wing. I'm bringing it about halfway. Then for my waterline I'm taking my Maybelline Define a line. It's just a black eyeliner. And then for my lower lash line I'm just again taking the dark shade that I used for my lid and I got I reference on my shirt. Then for my lashes I'm taking the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Putting this on my top and bottom lashes. And now I'm just gonna pop on the Miami lashes, the Lily lashes in the style Miami, which I found these at Marshalls for $6.99. Like, what a steal. So I'm taking my lash adhesive from Duo. The brush on adhesive you know how they say you're supposed to like let your lash dry lash glue dry i can't do that it has to i have to let it like put it on immediately or it doesn't stick like i let it dry for like 0.2 seconds 
<laughs> and then pop it on. Just like that. For this, I'm going to be taking my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm. It's just this mauve color. And I'm going to be overdrawing my lips because they're non-existent. Okay guys, so I just finished the final touches of this makeup look. I think it is beautiful for prom and I'm really excited to maybe do this on some of my clients for prom and yeah, I actually had like a lot of people request this so I'm super excited and yeah, so I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know if you have any requests down below for video ideas. I'm always happy to do a makeup look that I've done that you like and you want to know how I did it just let me know and I'll do it for you but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I hope you maybe try it out and if you do don't forget to tag me on Instagram my Instagram is at Chelsea Walls and I'd be sure to comment back on that so yeah thanks for watching guys bye